The subtitle for this video is a lesson on the great question of life, the universe, and everything for my Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy fans. So the following slides are a compilation of quotes from famous authors. The first slide quotes on work. Hard work beats talent when talent fails to work hard. The next quote, there is no person living who isn't capable of doing more than they think they can do. On words, my task, which I'm trying to achieve is, by the power of the written word, to make you hear, to make you feel. It is before all to make you see. Writing, conveying information, sharing your story, this helps us to see, this helps us to understand. Which leads me into our next quote. Don't ever diminish the power of words. Words move hearts and hearts move limbs. This is taking us from empathy to compassion. Our hearts are moved and we're motivated into action. The last quote I have here on this page by Miriam Makiba, who is the subject of the painting on the right. Be careful. Think about the effect of what you say. Your word should be constructive. Bring people together, not pull them apart. So words are very powerful and they can change hearts and they can change minds. And because of that, because of their power, we need to be very careful with them. We need to be careful with what we say and write and how we use our words. This next slide is on learning. The mind, once stretched by a new idea, never regains its original dimensions. When we learn something, when we gather more information, when our minds are stretched, um, you can't go back, and this is again why we should gather as many different perspectives as we can. So this next quote by James Baldwin, The paradox of education is precisely this, that as one begins to become conscious, one begins to examine the society in which he is being educated. We learn and grow and grasp information so that we can then take this knowledge, take this information, and make positive change. That is why your education system exists. Society should be endlessly iterative. There is no reason we should ever be content with where we are. We should constantly be striving for improvement. And we should examine our society. We should examine the world around us. That is the purpose of education in the first place, to give us the tools and the ability to view our world and then to make positive change. The last quote I have for you here on the page. When you talk, you are only repeating what you already know, but if you listen, you may learn something new. Hearing and listening and learning and understanding is necessary, it is good. It is always something that we should want to do. We should want to broaden our minds, to stretch them, to examine, to listen. Because once we learn something new, we will understand the world, our society, the people around us more, and we will be better equipped to go out and make change. We will have the right tools to improve the world around us. My next slide here for you is on failure. Each of us is more than the worst thing we've ever done. Forgive yourself for your faults and your mistakes and move on. The only real mistake is one from which we learn nothing. We can't perseverate. We can't tie ourselves down based on the worst thing that we have ever done, based on the worst thing that has happened to us. We all make mistakes. That is part of being human. The important thing is to learn and to grow from these mistakes. You are more than the sum of your parts. You are more than the worst thing that you've ever done. And the most important step for you to take, always the most important step, is that next step and then the one you take after that, but always the next step. Which leads me into my last quote. Success isn't about how your life looks to others. It's about how it feels to you. As long as we're taking that next step and we're moving in the right direction and we are trying to adapt and grow and improve and evolve, then that is success. My next slide here is on time. Time you enjoy wasting is not wasted time. 
my second quote on the page. Don't underestimate the value of doing nothing, of just going along, listening to all the things you can't hear and not bothering. Taking a break is also important. Taking a moment, taking a beat, to just absorb, to just be. We don't always have to be doing. However, with that being said, here's my second slide on time. All we have to decide is what to do with the time that is given us. And then the next quote, if we wait until we're ready, we'll be waiting the rest of our lives. We are only going to be on this earth, in this world, for a brief amount of time, and what we do with that time is important because we can make a difference with that time. We can use this time to make positive change, to improve the lives of the people around us. And there's no reason to wait. You just have to start taking action. Take that first step. Take that next step because that is what it means to grow. We can't become ready unless we start, until we start the process, until we start experiencing and creating and doing, because it is through experiencing that we can truly learn. The next slide here is on love. In this first quote, you all probably already know, darkness cannot drive out darkness. Only light can do that. Hate cannot drive out hate. Only love can do that. In the next one, people must learn to hate, and if they can learn to hate, they can be taught to love, for love comes more naturally to the human heart. And my last quote for you on this slide, one sees clearly only with the heart. Anything essential is invisible to the eye. My next slide here is a slide of quotes on existing on existence, on being a human being. I took a deep breath and listened to the old brag of my heart. I am, I am, I am. My second quote, the mystery of life isn't a problem to solve, but a reality to experience. In the third quote, I don't understand it any more than you do, but one thing I've learned is that you don't have to understand things for them to be. Sometimes knowing that things are, knowing that the world or the society around you operates the way that it does, at some point it is enough for things to simply be. Some things just are. Which takes me to my next slide on change. If you change nothing, nothing will change. How wonderful it is that nobody need wait a single moment before starting to improve the world. There is some good in this world and it's worth fighting for. We need to change. We need to take action. We need to feel that empathy, that compassion, feel that call to action. Take that emotional capital and turn it into social capital, political capital. Be active, not passive, in the world around you because each of us has the power to start improving the world. Each of us can take action to make it a better, safer, more just place. My next slide is on choice. It is our choices that show what we truly are far more than our abilities. In the second, we must all face the choice between what is right and what is easy. Standing up for what is right is not always easy. My next quote here, aim above morality. Be not simply good, be good for something. Have a cause, have a purpose. We can have emotional and intellectual motivations behind our actions, behind our goodness, behind our light. Which leads me into the last quote. There are darknesses in life and there are lights and you are one of the lights. The picture on this last slide is actually one of my 90 year old grandma who on June 10th left her home for the first time since COVID-19 in order to go to a Black Lives Matter protest. My last slide is on action, on compassion, on that call to action. The first quote, no matter how bad or slow things go, you're still way ahead of everyone who isn't trying. And the next quote, knowing is not enough, we must apply. Willing is not enough, we must do. The third quote, the smallest deed is better than the greatest intention. 
No deed is too small. It is not enough to simply know that there is injustice in the world, in the country, in our own communities. That is not enough. It is not enough to know that someone else is suffering or someone else is struggling. It is not enough to have empathy with them. We must have compassion. We must apply. We must actually do. We must take action. No positive action is too small. No next step is too small because you will then take the next step after that and the next one after that. And advocacy and action and progress and growth, it is not linear. It is not a straight line and that is okay because every time you make a mistake, every time there is a setback, every time there is a failure, what matters is not that mistake. What matters is learning from it. Every experience carries its lesson. Every experience is taking you in that right direction. Every story that you read, every different person that you speak to, every different piece of knowledge and information that you try to grasp, to hear, to listen to and understand, all of it carries its lesson. Not just the positive experiences, not just the successes, but also the failures, the mistakes, the setbacks. They are part of the process of growth. Which takes me to my last quote. And now that you don't have to be perfect, you can be good. Go out, take action, and be good because you are one of the lights.